Hi everyone, so today we're going to take a look at what's new in FitFoot 360 version 3. So we're going to take a look at scan enhancements today. So as you can see, I have already created my patient, so I'm going to go ahead and go to scan feet. I'm going to open up a scan, so I'm going to double click on that. When I click next, you'll notice that there is a brand new kind of fast forward button. So rather than going through adding an image or looking at the measurements, all I need to do to get to the end of this process is hit fast forward. You'll also notice there is a new button called block out. So if I want to, I can click on that. So once I have clicked on that, I'm launched back into the home page. So you'll notice that both plan write and send order are both available. So if I go to plan write first, we can take a look at what's happened. So you can see now my scan has been turned into a kind of foot positive. And if I want to, I can, of course, create an orthotic from this. If I go back to home and I go to send order, I can now just send that scan. So if I want to, I can import my scan, create a scan positive, and then just send it straight out. I can also, if I want to, do some editing as well. So I'm going to select edit right scan. I haven't got a left scan, so you can see that is disabled. I'm going to select accept. And I am launched into this editing mode. So if you have looked at the new advanced sections tool, this is very similar to that tool. So it's basically the first stage of that tool. So the kind of scan editing or sculpting mode. So you can see I've got my scan here. I've got the option to remove material, add material or smooth the material. I can either do this by brushing or I can do this globally. So I've got the global smooth here. I've also got the option to reset. So if I do anything that I don't like, I can just reset back to zero. I've also got the option to show a depth map. So anything green on the depth map is kind of original. Anything blue is material that's being added. And then anything going down to red is material that's being taken away. So I might want to maybe add material in the arch area here to create arch fill. So if I just brush some material using my mouse, I can increase the amount of material in the arch area there. If I do anything that doesn't look quite smooth, I can always smooth it. So I can do that using the smooth material option. And again, I just run my mouse over that area to smooth it. OK, so once I'm happy with the changes that I've made, I can select accept and I can save my scan straight out. So I'm just going to cancel that. I'm going to go back to home once again and I'm going to go to scan feet. This time I'm going to import the left scan and I'm going to import a large kind of messy model so we can have a look at some other tools. OK, so you'll notice down in this section here we have a new option. So in the previous version, we were able to remove disconnected regions, but we can now control the size of the disconnected regions. So if I just zoom in a bit and you take a look at these areas here and I select that remove disconnected regions button, you'll notice that all of these kind of small little areas will be removed. Now, if I increase the size, zoom out a little bit, you'll notice that these larger areas will now be removed. So it really just gives you some more control over the size of the disconnected regions that you want to get rid of. OK, so obviously in a normal workflow, I would go through all of the different steps in the scan import wizard. But I think that is everything I wanted to show you for the scan wizard enhancements in V3. So thank you very much for watching.